if you're looking for the next big idea, you're looking in the wrong place. Because ideas are useless. A lot of people go into business because they have this great idea. <clears throat> and or businesses say, hey, what's the next big idea we can create? What's the next big product we can create? Well, when you ask that question, you're looking at it from really the wrong viewpoint. The most innovative ideas in history were actually solutions to a problem. Think about, oh, back in the day when the the iPod came out. We were so used to carrying around mini cassette recorders and all these cassette tapes that we were listening to our music and you couldn't carry very many because it took up a lot of space. And Steve Jobs talked about this device where you could carry a thousand songs in your pocket. And he solved the problem of not being able to take all your music with you and created a revolution in that whole industry, eventually that destroyed the vinyl record business, it destroyed the cassette tape business, and you know, pretty much CDs and that kind of thing. And all the evolution since then. Um, when the computer was built, you know, who was it? Bill Gates or Steve Jobs, I don't remember which one. Uh, their goal was to solve the problem of ha letting everybody have a computer in their home because they had to, only the, only the big companies had them. If you look at any innovative idea, you look at most innovations in medicine, is to solve a problem, to solve a huge problem. Right now they're working on a vaccine for the coronavirus. And that is, they're not just working on an idea, they're working on a solution to a huge problem. So today the most innovative businesses seek out and look for problems to solve that will make the biggest difference in the lives of their customers, in the, the lives of their community, their country, their, the world. So if you're in a business who's really pushing forward and wants to be innovative, Look for problems to solve that will make a difference. Don't just go looking for what's the next idea we can come up with what we do. And if you want to build a culture of innovation within a business, it's problems that you look for. When you look for pro problems to solve instead of ideas to come up with, then it changes your whole mindset. It changes the way you think about what you're doing. Technology today is really moving. It's really fast. It's moving so fast, you know, you can't predict the future. You, you just, you can't, because things change so quickly. And if you try, you're fooling yourself because you can't predict the future. And you can't even uncover all the problems that your customer has. You need to try, you need to ask your customers, what problems do you have that I can solve? You know, And they may not even know the answer to that question, but you just ask them, what are the problems you're dealing with today? Uncover the problems that are related to your business, that you're in, that you're working on, that you can address. What are those problems? And seek to solve those. And you'll have customers for life if you're solving their problems. Spend time looking for new problems. It, you know, a lot of leaders, a lot of visionary leaders will spend time meditating, getting away and thinking and just thinking about where their business is headed. What the, is the next thing they're gonna do? Where they're headed in their business. You need to spend time seeking out new problems so that you can find solutions. You know, what are the new problems? Today, COVID is a problem. What all problems has that created in our life? Social distancing is a problem. We like to be around each other. We're missing the togetherness. We're missing the camaraderie. 
It's created virtual meetings. Part of meeting together is being together. Now, if you let meetings get out of control, whether they're virtual or in person, then they're not very productive. But virtual meetings are not as, they can be productive because you can make them really short and be productive, but people's attention are not where it needs to be. What else has COVID created? What other problems has COVID created? The way we buy things. Look, look at the look at the solutions that have come up. You've got, and I don't know what they all are. DoorDash, To You, I don't know what they all are. Um, uh, Uber Uber Eats. Um, you know, all of these businesses that were kind of out there and just kind of trying to make it work, and then all of a sudden COVID happened, and it's like, I need somebody to go to go get my groceries and begin some house because I'm not going to the grocery store. In, in that case, it was almost a solution waiting for the problem to show up, but it was a solution to a problem. Events. We can't have big events in a lot of states. In this state, you can't have a big event, bigger than 10 people. So what's the solution to that? How can we solve that problem in, in light of where we are? Somebody who comes up with a great idea to solve that problem will make a big impact. You know, so much of the time we go through strategic planning, which is taking where we are and looking at where we're going and identifying the steps to get to where we wanna go and coming up with these new ideas of how we're gonna get there. Well, that's good and fine, but you need to mix with that. It's called innovation planning. Strategic planning, you plan your moves, you adjust as your markets and your competitors adjust and it's based on what you already know about your business, about your market, about your customers. That's strategic planning. Innovation planning is planning based on what you need to learn in order to solve new problems. Because the knowledge and skills you have today may not be able to solve the problems that are coming in the future. So what is it that you need to learn in order to solve what's coming down the road in the future? It's constantly being prepared, constantly preparing yourself for the journey that is to come in solving these problems. Ideas solve problems, even though a lot of people are unconscious about it. And many of these problems, the market may not even know yet. And so if you are an innovative idea thinker, innovative solution thinker, you're looking at what's going on in the market. You're looking at what people are doing and what people are struggling with. You know, they may not even know they need a new solution, but look at what people struggle with every day. That's the solution. That's the problem that needs to be identified and then a solution found. And if you're working on ideas and you haven't defined the problem, then chances are you won't just miraculously have any ideas that are useful. You have to spend some time, you have to spend some effort looking at what's going on, listening to people, listening to your customers, listening to your community about the struggles and the problems they're having that maybe you can come up with a solution to solve that problem. Spend time looking for problems that need to be solved instead of trying to think differently about really nothing at all other than, you know, okay, well, this is our business and what if we what if we just kind of did it this way? What if we went off in this direction and and created this new service or created this new product? Well, that's great and fine, but if it doesn't solve a problem that people actually have today, it won't be successful. So I title this, Ideas Are Useless. On the face themselves, ideas are useless. You can put them on a wall, you can put them in a book, you can make a list of all these ideas that you have, but until you find a problem that needs to be solved, then you can match it with maybe an idea how to solve that problem. So we tend to do it backwards. We tend to come up with the idea before we figure out what the problem is. So if you want to move your business forward, if you want to capture more of the market, and it could be a different market than what you're in. If you want to, if you want to move forward, start looking for problems. Start looking for problems that you can solve. 
and go after those and become the become the leader become the business that is known for solving problems and not just throwing out all these new ideas that get people excited but they don't go anywhere consider the problems consider the struggles that people have what are they hurting with today what are they struggling with today go find a way to solve it this is your Tuesday Truths I'm Mark Schinner sitting here from the porch I hope you have a great day I'll be back and talk to you tomorrow